black prosecutor can indict without inciting tensions. What is it about Shots Fired that kind of separates it from other similar event series or if there is something similar out there? Um, I think it's, I think it's, if anything, it's the same in a sense that we're all just trying to spark conversation. Starting, trying to start change in our community by holding a mirror up to the social ills and everything that we go through right now, especially dealing with the race relations and our relationships with as citizens with police officers. So we're, we're just trying to uh, spark the, con the necessary conversations for change. Do you think this, this series will ruffle some feathers with a new political climate we have going on right now? I, I, I pray it does. You know, I pray that I pray that people are excited and want to speak. I'm pray that I pray that people are angry and want to speak out. I, I pray that there's uh, there's enough people who actually want to sit down, get together and start to make a revolution, man. I, I, I feel like it's very needed. I'm Ash, your investigator. How aggressive I go is up to you. Do your job the right way, by the book. It is my job to focus on the truth. My truth has no color. Now, what do you expect for this show to do and what message are you looking forward to seeing as well? Really, I just want this show to entertain. Uh, you know, I think it's such an important message. It's such a, a timely show, maybe even unfortunately timely. But, uh, you know, I just hope that it, it speaks to people and it, it, it's one of those shows that people are like, you know, they want to have discussions after, it raises awareness. Um, you know, in this sort of divisive climate, you know, people shy away from even talking about things. So I hope that Shots Fired encourage, encourages people to, to have the conversation. What about Joe? Killed two weeks ago. Your son's death was never investigated? Can't talk about it. We both know something ain't right here. Department of Justice, you see anything? Talk to us, we can protect you. <laughs> no one's got answers for you, but you keep asking the wrong question. You are the very best part of me. Embrace your fearlessness, okay? We should go back to DC. Must be tough for your little girl. Kai, that's her name, right? Your threats don't phase me. Even though it's very timely, what got you involved with uh, Shots Fired? Well, I mean, first and foremost, uh, Gina Prince Bythewood and Reggie Bythewood, they're dear friends of mine. I worked with Gina probably, you know, 17 years ago with Love and Basketball, and um, that was such an amazing experience. And um, we've just wanted to work together ever since, and nothing ever really came together the right way, and this was just the perfect opportunity. It's so well written, um, and the cast is brilliant, and so I, I can't wait to share it with the world. That feeling is the that scared, angry of tightness. That's what my deputies feel every day. There's been so many killers and fatal shootings. What was your thought process on the time you were bringing this out? Well, you know, we really started thinking about doing something in the subject matter after the George Zimmerman trial. And, you know, it was something that affected our oldest kid you know, on a very deep level. He was 12 years old at the time. And he wrote a short story about Trayvon Martin going to heaven to meet Emmett Till. And his short story actually ended up in hour five of Shots Fired. So, so, so our 12-year-old was the first one who actually started penning something for the show. But we didn't really realize what it was going to be at that time. And, um, and then I started working on a screenplay in that space. And at the same time, you know, Gina had a conversation with Imagine and Fox about doing a series, and we just kind of like brought both of those ideas together and, um, you know, just decided to, to do this show. Jill, um, Reggie gave me a little, little tip, and he told me that sometimes on set, it oh, got no. very intense. Yeah, yeah. And some of the scenes, can you kind of describe what, what some of those, those moments were like while filming? Wow. Um, well, I think what was so intense, too, is uh, sometimes it's hard not to get so intense when you're doing an intense scene, but before you came to work that morning, you turned on the TV and there was another shooting. And you were watching parents or the child of someone who had just been killed. So that was tough, you know, because uh, we all came to this project with so much heart and we were all drawn together by, you know, very common emotions and feelings. And so it was very cathartic. But you're, you were constantly reminded, and, and we still are. Right now I'm reminded how topical and important an issue this is. Uh, 
uh, like Dewana Wise, for example, who's so good in this. She she plays a mother who lost her child, mm -hmm. and uh, I play a mother who lost her child as well. But we would do these scenes together and realize that the dialogue we were saying we had just heard on the news that morning, said by other mothers or fathers. So it was, it was deep. We're taking on an entire sheriff's department. I'm only human after all. I am not declaring war on my citizens. Your citizens have already declared war on you. Humanity. That is what is at stake here, folks. I'm only human. I do what I can. I'm just a man. I do what I can. Don't put the blame on me.